A survey by Always Discreet found that 67% of women have experienced bladder leaks at some stage. And despite 85% knowing that pelvic floor exercises can help, 34% are not currently doing them at all. And only 8% of women do them daily, as is recommended. Well, TV presenter and former TOWIE star Fern McCann is campaigning to shed the taboo around the subject. I spoke to her a little while earlier and I asked her about when it became such an important issue for her. So I noticed when I was on the running machine and I love, I love to exercise, I love my health and fitness and it was something that yeah, I, I couldn't do any more because I was too embarrassed that I was going to get a leak. So I stopped doing that. And then it progressively got worse. It wasn't like an immediate thing after I gave birth to Sunday, who's my daughter. It was something that definitely happened over a long period of time. And I think that was because I didn't talk about it. I joked about it with my friends like, oh, you sneeze and a little bit comes out. And uh, I neglected that. I think having a, my first baby... You, all your focus is on them and you kind of forget about yourself. Um, but yeah, it's as simple as, as squeezing your pelvic floor, doing it daily and yeah, making it part of your daily routine because it can actually help to improve and prevent bladder leaks. And, and there are just so many uh, myths about pelvic floor and how it can be impacting. It's so interesting that it came uh, to your attention while you were exercising. Some people think actually if you're fit and healthy, you should be fine. And, and actually some exercises might even cause some leaks. Exactly. That's a common myth. I think a lot of, a lot of girls, a lot of women think that if they've got a strong core that they're like they're gonna be okay and they're not gonna suffer from bladder leaks. It's actually the opposite because it's a, it's a completely different muscle. Like you go to the gym to work on your abs or like get strong biceps, you have to work that muscle as well. So I know like a lot, even some of my friends after I've openly spoke about this are still like, how do you even do it? I think that the education is really little. Like I didn't know anything about yeah. it. So I'm excited that they're like, we're putting a spotlight on it. So. All you do, like I don't want to be too graphic, so imagine you are passing urine and you just want to stop that flow. So it's them small clenches and squeezes. You can pulse it. You can hold it for like a long period of time if you can. And you will notice the more you do it, the stronger it gets. And it makes a big difference, does it? Huge. Like I have noticed major improvements. I can now go for a run. I can now go on long car journeys. And these are the sort of, th sort of things that it affected and affects so many w other women. Just day-to-day -day tasks, keeping active with their children, going on lo long car journeys. It's affecting people's relationships, their sex lives, like ev like day-to-day things that you people you know want to do it's affecting and as far as i'm aware um women have been having children since the dawn of time so why is it so awkward to talk about something like this i think it is a taboo subject which it shouldn't be it yeah. is embarrassing like even even now like i i mean i've spoke about it so much that i kind of yeah don't really don't don't really feel too embarrassed about it but it is it's natural it's so many natural. women go through it i think you're prepared, when you're pregnant, you're prepared of all the things that people tell you about, but they don't tell you about what's going to happen internally. Like the pelvic floor muscle is like a, a sling of muscles that are protecting and supporting down below. So you just need to work that muscle and make sure it's super strong. And yeah, I think that we need to, we need to open the conversation. There definitely needs to be more spotlight on women's health and yeah, that's it, what we're doing today. Yeah, it might be uncomfortable, but the more we talk about it, the less uncomfortable it becomes. There and you go. Really good talking to you. Thank you Thank for talking you. to me.